For our next topic, we will dive into route groups. Route groups is a feature of Expo Router that allows you to logically organize your routes without impacting the URL structure. This is especially useful when you want to group related routes together, you need to share layouts between specific routes, or you want to create multiple route layouts in your application. Let's head back to VS Code and see how we can implement route groups. For this example, we will assume we are building an authentication feature and create routes for register, login, and forgot password. First, let's create these routes the standard way. In the app directory, create three files, register.tsx, login.tsx, and forgot password.tsx. From each file, we will default export a simple React Native component. In register, type rnfs, tab, the component name is register, the text is register. We define container styles and specify the same on the view component. Style is equal to styles.container. We will copy this component code, paste it in login.tsx, and change register to login. Similarly, paste the code in forgotpassword.tsx and change the component name as well as the text to forgotpassword. In the browser, visiting localhost 8081 slash register shows register, slash login shows login, and slash forgot password shows forgot password. Now this works, but there is a small problem. As we add more routes to our application, our authentication routes will be scattered in the app directory. That might be fine when you're working solo, but it becomes challenging in a team environment. Let's try to improve this by creating an auth folder to house all our authentication related routes. So within the app directory, new folder called auth, and we will move the three newly created components inside the folder. The project structure looks much cleaner now. But if you check the browser, you will notice the routes are broken. This happens because Expo Router automatically maps nested folders to URL paths. So now we have, instead of slash register, slash auth slash register, slash auth slash login, and slash auth slash forgot hyphen password. While this URL structure makes sense for auth routes, it might not be ideal for other groups like marketing or analytics. Having slash marketing or slash analytics in the URL is not probably what you want. This is where route groups come in handy. To create a route group, we simply wrap the folder name in parentheses. So auth rename, and we wrap it in parentheses. This tells Expo Router to treat the auth folder as an organizational tool only, excluding it from the URL path. If we reload the app and check the browser again, slash register, slash login, and slash forgot password, we are back to having clean URLs. Our code also remains neatly organized. So this is the first use case for route groups grouping related routes together without affecting the URL structure. The second use case for route groups is combining them with layouts. Let's say we want all our pages to share the same layout with a logo at the top. Inside our auth folder, we can create an underscore layout.tsx file. Here, you can define and export a component that renders the React logo and the slot component from Expo Router. So export default function, auth layout, which renders the slot component that gets replaced by forgot password, login, or register page, depending on the URL. And we render an image component from React Native. This will now be shared across all the auth pages, but routes outside like about or profile won't be affected. Navigate to slash login in the browser and we see the React logo. Same with register and forgot password. This is the second use case of route groups, combining it with layouts to share elements across different routes. The third use case for route groups is creating multiple root layouts. Right now, our root layout from the app folder gets applied to every single route. But what if we don't want to apply it to the auth routes? 
answer is to create multiple groups, each with their own layout. For our example, we will create an app route group and move our index route as well as the layout inside it. So within the app folder, create a route group called app and we will move index.tsx, layout.tsx and we can also move about.tsx. So the app route group for authenticated users and auth route group for unauthenticated users. In the browser, if we visit the root localhost 8081, we can see the header at the top and footer at the bottom. But if we visit slash login, for example, which is an auth route, we don't see the header and the footer. Only the logo is displayed. This is the third use case of route groups, the ability to have multiple root layouts. Now for this demo, we only had a look at the browser, but I suggest adding links to the auth pages and verifying if they work exactly the same in your mobile device as well. But in summary, route groups in Explorator is a simple but powerful feature that can help you organize your project. They give you the flexibility to structure your code logically without compromising your URL structure. They also allow you to share layouts between routes and create multiple root layouts.